Our damage is down. We're gonna see if we can go and get red buff. Oh, I guess not. We're gonna see if we can just fight. Hold onto the Merlin. Get the Polymorph. Get the one. Instant kill. He was going to blink, but then he got Polymorph into a jungle camp. And come on, Argus. Bring the two, and we are able to get it. That is very nice. What a do, Scooby Boo? It's your boy Shiny B Gaming, and today we are going to be playing some Hera in mid. If you are new to the channel, I upload six to seven times a week where I add some commentary to a game I've already played with the intention of seeing what went right and what went wrong, and hopefully we can learn something from it. If you are a returning viewer, Hera is currently my favorite pick for mid. I think she is in an amazing state. She's super strong, has a bunch of CC. The build is posted in the description, and the stats will be posted at the end of the game. So let's go ahead and go over Hera's kit. Hera's 1 is going to have a cone, and it's going to have fist damage. The cone is going to do less damage than the fist damage, but it also does some damage, so you want to incorporate that when clearing in the early game. Hera's 2 is a line attack called Polymorph. It's going to transform an enemy god into a jungle camp. As you increase the second ability, as you put points into it, the polymorph duration is going to increase, and this ability also applies a 20% slow. Divine Shroud is Hera's third ability. It's going to give her a shield of health. It's also going to increase her movement speed, and it's also going to increase Argus's movement speed, which is her ultimate. And it's also going to ca cause Argus to do some tick damage. So whenever you activate Argus, you're going to be able to pop your 3. It's going to make Argus do tick damage. It's also going to increase the speed of both you and Argus. And then Hera's 4 is Argus, where if she calls her ult down on somebody, it's going to land and start attacking the nearest target, providing a knockup. And then his attack combo is as follows. A basic attack followed by a ground circle AoE attack that applies the slow, and then into a line attack. As you put points into it, Argus's protections and health goes up along with his movement speed. Hera's passive is commanding presence. Whenever Hera uses an ability and hits an enemy god, it's going to heal Argus, and it's also going to reduce her third ability nice. by a third of a second. So now that we kind of have a gist of how Kara's kit is supposed to work, as you notice right here, I'm going up and I'm hitting the wave from the side. The reason I'm doing this is that way I can hit all of the minions with the cone and the fist damage, instead of just hitting the front minions with the cone and fist damage. And to start off our build, we're going to be going into Mage's Blessing, and then we're going to go into the tier 1 of Chronos Pendant. Chronos Pendant is not necessary, it's not mandatory by any means, but it is going to give us a large amount of cooldown, and I have a lot of fun with Hera when I have a lot of cooldown. It's not a must, but I place a lot of value in it, so I'm going to try to max out my cooldown as soon as possible. We got the Polymorph on the Scotty, she's going to chase us down, so we're going to start backing up. So right now, we are just holding wave. Scotty is a little bit ahead of us. Even if we do full clear this wave, she's a level four, we're still a level three. We miss our polymorph. We're in a bit of a bad spot. We're gonna use our three to try to get out. And uh, somehow we got out. Very close. So we're gonna go ahead and back. We're not gonna win that fight. So the reason we are going Mage's Blessing and the tier 1 of Chronos Pendant instead of going straight into Boots is whenever we leave Fountain that very first time, we can either live with leave with the power of Mage's Blessing okay. or we can leave with the power of Mage's Blessing and the tier 1 Chronos Pendant. Tier 1 Boots does not give you any power. So if you leave with boots, you might be able to get a earlier power spike from completing boots, but you're going to struggle on that very first 
attempt at clearing the first wave. And I want to try to establish a little bit of lane pressure, so I'm going to try to pick up that extra power and then build into boots afterwards. It's not much, it's just 10 power, but it can make the difference in clearing wave early game. Enemy missing metal. So we do have access to our ultimate now. We could rotate left. Retreat. Yeah, we should have rotated left instead of hitting those smalls. Oh, come on, team. They're starting to back up. Argus, to my side. There we go. We got the kill on the Merlin. Argus should be able to chase down Kumba. Unfortunately, he's going to be able to get away. Okay. So, one pick. That's a good start. Such a beautiful gift. We probably could have positioned that or played that to where we would have gotten Kumba Karna as well. But we used R3 to get the increased movement speed so we could rotate over there just a little bit quicker. Thankfully, Wheelix was able to hold middle wave for me. Your middle tower is under attack. So, Argus is back on cooldown. Now we're going to be looking to farm some camps. So the full combo with Hera, it's, uh, oh, here comes Dodgy. We get the Polymorph off, we're going to use our shield to get the increased movement speed and skate on out of there. So they probably cleared that. I just didn't expect Dodgy to come up from behind me right there. She's still hanging out. We're going to get some basics off, get the Polymorph off, get the one off, and that is a decent amount of damage. So she's going to be running, she's heading left, so I tell the team to retreat left. And I think left lane went down without Wheelix, or without Dodgy going over there. So Hera's combo, if you have her ultimate, you can use your polymorph to change them into a jungle camp and to apply a slow. And then you can call your ultimate down on them, knocking them up. Which sets you up for your first ability. Then you can activate your three to increase the damage on Argus and also the movement speed. And then you just want to make sure that you are within distance of Argus and the enemy. So that way Argus can attack the enemy. We're going to pop our shield because we took some damage. And then you could also mix up this combo and ult and then use your two off of the knockup. There's a couple of different ways to do it. Calling out miss in middle. Not really any camps I could go for. I could have gone for oracles right there. Scotty's not here, so we're gonna go and hit the wave from the side. Get the cone damage and the fist damage. Now we're gonna check the right harpies, which I don't think are there. Oh, they still are, or they respawn. One or the other. So we have enough for the tier 2 version of Kronos Penda, but we do not have enough for the tier 3. We're kind of holding off on our ultimate until maybe the jungler shows up in mid. If we have a little bit of assistance, we can get a, a full kill with Argus. Ultimate is ready. Since Scott is missing mid, I'm going to see if I can rotate over. She's now mid. So I'm going to rotate back. Our team's really far pushed up. Would not have been the best rotation. So I make sure that she steps out of tower. On my way. Okay. Then we're going to throw our ult. We look just here too. Her beads, and we are able to get her with the one. So now we're just going to let Argus take out some minions. This might not be 100% accurate, but I place a lot of value in Argus early game on his initial knockup. Yes, he's super big, distracting, does damage, but that knockup sets up your other abilities. So once you've used it for that, like right now Argus, I'm okay if he dies. I have no issue. There's not that much tactical use for him, I'm just clearing minions. I really just wanted that knockup so I could use my polymorph and then try to get my one off. So now I want him on cooldown, which he is, so that way I can do that combo again. 
Later on in the game, when Argus is a little bit more tankier, you're going to want to try to navigate him around, save some of his health, and put him on the right target. For early game, I kind of just use him for that knockup and follow-up damage. Be right back. Or, the way I see it is, you call in Argus and it provides a knockup. Anything on top of that, him chasing them down, doing additional damage, that's all just icing on the cake. We got our knockup, that's the big part. All the other damage is amazing, super Enemy glad it exists down. and that I can do it, but focused on the knockup. So enemies missing mid, okay. dodgy is there. We're gonna see if we can rotate over and help us emoja. Our ultimate is down. Right. We missed polymorph onto dodgy. And our support went down. We kind of had to respawn mid. That was a pretty bad miss. <clears throat> Here comes Scotty. We get the polymorph off. We get the one off. We're gonna pop the shield so her dog is attacking that instead of our health bar. So one more poke and she's killable. She's probably killable now, but if we're going to try to get one more poke, that might have been the poke we needed. Positioning myself to be super aggressive. Should have been going for our red right here. While they drop our red, I'm going to rotate over onto this Merlin. He looks to be pretty far pushed up. And we're able to secure that kill. We probably... Did not get our red because we rotated over and got that kill. I missed the polymorph. We're gonna head back to mid, try to get the XP from the minions before the tower destroys them. Enemy we got one. Incoming. <laughs> they looking shook. An ally has been slain. Okay, okay. So Out we definitely morning. missed the red, but that's okay. Hurts, but it's okay. We're gonna see if we can do anything and rotate over to Aphrodite. Our ultimate is on cooldown. That's a stun. Good for him, I missed all my stuff. And Scott is here, so it's time to pop the shield and to try to run away. And pop down the one. Throw down the polymorph. Aphrodite is super clutch. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Be careful. Ooh, here comes all the heals. So yeah, we definitely have the grouping to do Pyromancer. Typically you're gonna want to go for Gold Fury over Pyromancer, but we have the dominance on the right side of the jungle. Beasts have no place under my roof. On my way. So now. The Pyromancer is going to allow anybody who backs to leave spawn just a little bit faster. Polymorph onto Kumba. That misses. We do have our ultimate. There's a lot of people here. We're going to try to look for a little bit of poke. Dodgy. We're going to ult. Polymorpher. Now we're going to chase down the Merlin. We're gonna activate our three, increase our speed, increase the speed of Argus. That's Merlin's dash. Still sticking to him. Your right tower has been destroyed. I fall back and I make the call to go for gold. Nobody's coming, so I'm gonna have to get off. So now we're gonna go rotate back to our team. King Arthur is pushing our right tower. Come on, team. Our Heim did go down. So that was a misplay. We should have tried to fight with our team instead of going for gold. We might have been able to get a pick or secure. Yeah, we might have been able to secure a pick or to prevent the Heimdall death. King Arthur is getting a free tower, so we actually need to just disengage. Your right tower has been destroyed. On my way. Okay. 
So it looks like King Arthur is going to keep pushing. Or at least that's the direction he was heading. And it looks like he backed off, which means he's probably heading mid. We're gonna Argus and Scotty. Looks like he was able to avoid some of that damage. We're just gonna let Argus dive tower. He's gonna eat a few shots with us. We're gonna get the tower. Here comes Dodgy. We're gonna get the Polymorph off. That buys us a little bit of time. We're gonna use our shield. And that's gonna give us increased movement speed to dash away. In case she still sticks on us, we throw our one down. And it looks like we are out. There goes Dodgy's ult, so we're gonna to wanna to try to get out of range of that. We get the Polymorph onto their Kumba. Pop our shield, trying to avoid some damage here. I don't think there's any follow-up, so I think I'm good. So we do have a pretty penny in the pocket. We are going to want it back here. I see Omelix goes, or Afro goes super deep, so we're going to go in there and try to help. We throw down our Argus, and we throw down our Polymorph. Activate the three so it's doing bonus damage. We are doing good damage, but unfortunately, not enough. We're going to back up. We don't want to be pushed too hard. So now we're going to back, and we're going to be going into Divine Ruin. Divine Ruin is going to have that amazing utility of having anti-heal effects whenever you attack an enemy with an ability. It's also going to give you a little bit of power and a little bit of flat pen. The flat pen is going to help me do damage to all of the squishies. It's going to help me do damage to everyone, but it's going to be really effective against characters that do not have any magical defense. If they do have magical defense, it becomes a little bit more effective to be building flat pen. However, we're going to be trying to target Scotty, Dodgy, and Merlin, who are most likely not going to be building magic defense. I'm going for Juggalo. Okay. We're going to pick up some other items later on in order to deal with the Kumba and King Arthur, some of the tankier characters. I'm returning right lane. Be right back. So, Be they have vision from the oracles. On King Arthur's way. here. We haven't really tussled with him, but we were able to polymorph him out of his 3. He's, he's doing a damage check on me, and it is a lot, so I'm going to ult, get the polymorph off onto two people. Buys me a little bit of time. And our team was able to protect me and push them out of our tower. Oh, instead of going Divine Ruin, we actually went Soul Reaver. And it's because they don't really have any heals other than King Arthur. So we had the money for Soul Reaver, so we went with that. Now we're going to be going into Divine Ruin to deal with the King Arthur. If we don't, King Arthur is just going to be able to life steal his health back at a pretty obnoxious rate. Excuse me, got the yawns this morning. Anyway, Scotty's doing some damage. We might be able to get a polymorph off. We get the kill onto Merlin. And it looks like Scotty's going to be able to run away, so we're just going to hit the purple camp and rotate be out. Right back. There's Scotty. Ult is still down for 20 seconds. Get the polymorph on the Kumba. Get some poke onto him, and he's already below half health. So we got the kill. Let's see who actually gets the kill. Yes, sir. 6 0 oh, no. Off to a great start. Make the call to attack gold. Afro is going to come help. Pine is going to just hang out. So, right there, I use my ult on the gold fury. We're going to use it on dodgy now. Here comes Merlin. So right here we are overstepping quite a bit. There's, their three damage characters are all around that corner. And we just decided to hang out and walk in there. And Merlin is able to get us. 
So right there, that was just a little bit of overaggression. I used my ultimate to try to do some additional damage to the Gold Fury. And then as soon as I did, I saw a dodgy. And instead of realizing like, hey, I just used my ultimate, I was like, I have an Argus, I must attack. And I just held W and charged into three people without my team. So that was kind of a deserved death. They do have a first onk. Let's see if this Afro is going to be able to get out. Ooh, clutch knock up from a Wheelix. That might have done it. Ultimate is down. Our damage is down. We're gonna see if we can go and get red buff. Oh, I guess not. We're gonna see if we can just fight. Hold on to the Merlin. Get the Polymorph. Get the one. Instant kill. He was going to blink, but then he got Polymorph into a jungle camp. And come on, Argus. and we are able to get it. That is very nice. So we just got Oracles, Gold Fury is already down. That little flanking move just bought us enough surprise to get the Merlin and to get the King Arthur with okay. some help. So Heim is a little far pushed up and it looks like their team's rotating over so we're going to see if we can rotate over as well, make any kind of difference. Scotty is in mid, I don't think she's going to push too far and if she does hopefully we can rotate back and get her. And that is a Kumbaga down. So there goes the dodgy, hanging out. Looks like Scotty is pushing, but Emoja is going to prevent her from getting a free tower. We're going to rotate back mid. Oh, here comes Rowan. We do have our ultimate. Let's get his blank. And that was a shame. We literally knew he had a blank, and that's what he was going to do. And yet, we ulted at the wrong time. We are able to get the kill as a team, though. Trying to get Argus to go to this tower, and for whatever reason, he just won't. <laughs> so I'm just going to use him to take some tower shots. Scotty is over in mid. Got the polymorph onto King Arthur. Got the one off onto King Arthur. Afro is able to secure it. Scotty's a little far pushed up. Let's see if we can get her. Got the polymorph off, and that did a very large amount of damage. Heimdall is rotating behind. That is a Aegis from Scotty. An enemy has been slain. They look in We're gonna go back and clean up the minions because our team decided to go through the tower. We don't really want to eat the tower shots. We could have just waited for them to back into tower, but we went for the minions. So they have three people down. Now it is a good time to go for Fire Giant, in my opinion. Merlin has some pretty good skill potential, and Dodgy also has potential. Not as good of potential as Merlin to steal it. And it's just Yumoja and I over here. So no Fire Giant for us. There's the Merlin, we're gonna go ahead and ult. There's the dodgy Enemy ultimate. ultimate down. The double polymorph. Off into the one. Argus should be able to get dodgy. Ooh, Merlin did some great damage. I might be donezo here. You need to start running. I didn't expect such ferocity. King Arthur is also hanging about. We're getting chased from behind as well. 
right now we are just trying to extract. Right, there's still my bay. I see Afro's really in trouble, so I'm gonna rotate back, see if there's Line anything I can do to help. She's able to get the kill onto Merlin. And right here is where I put myself in trouble. No tower to go back to. Scotty's dog is going to be able to chase me down. So by going back and helping Aphrodite, I actually hurt myself. Aphrodite was able to get the Merlin by herself, and she probably would have gotten away from King Arthur by herself. I saw two people attacking her. I canceled my back. I realized she killed one. It was kind of already too late, my decision had been made. And then I just hung out just a little too long. So. Two very preventable deaths this game. They haven't really even focused me that hard. I just kind of put myself into bad positioning around the map. So we have our Soul Reaver and Divine Ruin online, and this might be a little controversial, but I'm actually going to be going into Soul Gem, which is going to put me over the 40% cooldown limit. The reason I'm going into Soul Gem now is because whenever I sell my starter item, I want to maintain the 40% cooldown. Yes, I could wait until I have enough money for the item I plan to replace my starter item with. However, I think Soul Gem, it heals your teammates, it heals yourself, it gets you to do bonus damage. It's a very strong item, and I feel like it's pretty strong on Hera into this build with the max cooldown. What you could do, if you are completely opposed to it, is just mix up the order. After Divine Ruin, uh, Divine Ruin go into Obsidian Shard, and then Soul Reaver. But for the sake of this game, I'm going to be going um, Soul Reaver, Divine Ruin, Soul Gem, and then Obsidian Shard. I think I might have misspoke. You want to go Divine Ruin, Soul Gem, Obsidian. So we were able to get one, we were able to get two, and that is the kind of team wipe potential that we want. We just destroyed four people off of a couple ultimates, and I think we're going to be able to close out because of it. Yep, that's a deicide, so we're just going to be able to push into their throne room. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you feel like you learned anything, please check out some other videos and subscribe to the channel. If you ever have a viewer request, just let me know. Stats will be posted in just a second. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.